What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have an update to the uh, Yalu 102 jailbreak and uh, this one is for the Yalu Dark but keep in mind this is an official update coming from Look at the Desco. It's not an update that I personally made. I just updated the application so that uh, it reflects the official Yalu. Now let me explain a little bit what is new into this. It's a fix for the HDMI adapter. So if you, you probably know this is the official uh, Yalu website and if you download the IPA from here it reflects its beta 7 but as far as I know if you download this one it doesn't reflect the uh, latest version of the code that was published in here. Of course people have sent pull requests with fixes for various things and Luca has integrated them into the uh, project on uh, February the 2nd when he fixed this one in here which fixes the uh, the HDMI adapter problem. There was a problem that when you install the Yalu, you cannot use the HDMI adapter on your iPhone. The screen remains black. So um, he fixed it. He fixed that with only um, line of code. Here was the issue. And um, yeah, it was pushed in here in the project, but as far as I know, the IPA was not updated. So in order to be able to use that fix, you needed to download the project in here, open the project, of course, here in, um, in the Xcode, compile it and use it on your device. Uh, so an IPA updated with the latest changes on the uh, code, the latest official changes was never published. So I decided to take the uh, official code and update the Yalu Dark because Yalu Dark fork, the one that I have, um, the, the one that I have built upon the uh, official code in here, was actually reflecting the first version of the code as well as the uh, IPA in here. So I decided to update it with the fix, and now the beta 11, as I call it. Keep in mind the beta 11 is not actually an update from Tedesco, just the HDMI fix is. And in the uh, beta 11 you have the fixed HDMI li lining adapter issue. Now this is how it looks like. For those of you who are new to, to my channel, um, this is what the Yalu Dark is. You probably remember the official one is white, completely white with no design at all. And so I decided to fork it on my GitHub and create a user interface to it. Uh, with the user interface, I decided to also add a couple of features and one of them is the uh, signature status. It tells you in here how many days have passed since you um, sideloaded the application and you of course firstly signed it in. And uh, after six days, it's going to send you a notification telling you that the application is going to expire in one day. Uh, this is the, um, the problem with the CDI Impactor. Probably you know already that you sideload this jailbreak IPA with CDI Impactor and all IPAs that are um, sideloaded with a free account through CDI Impactor only last 7 days. So the application is going to tell you that uh, you know it's going to expire soon as you, you will probably need to reload it um, in order to not lose your jailbreak if you re reboot the device. And that's one of the features it has uh, in... Um, in addition to the official one. Now, you probably want to ask me if the code is safe, because there have been a lot of malware lately and there have been a lot of fake IPAs for Yalu. Now, this this is one of the first, if not the first, Yalu fork, the first version that was modified of Yalu after the official code was published in January. After me, a lot of people started to make their own versions, like Yalu Blue and so on. But this was the first or within the first um, versions that were modified. And therefore, I decided to publish the uh, source code with all my modifications that you can download in here. Of course, if you want to only jailbreak and you want the IPA, you can go in here on the IPA build folder. The link is going to be in the description and you have beta 11. You click in here and you click download and it's going to download in there. The beta 10 doesn't have that HDMI lightning adapter fix. This is the entire update of today. It has that um, uh, HDMI fix that was officially pushed by Tedesco. So. You can download it from there and there you go. But if you want to download the code and analyze it to make sure, you know, it doesn't contain any malware or it doesn't contain any bad stuff, you can download it and open it in um, Xcode and analyze everything. Now, I marked my code, everything that I have changed with the commenting system. So everything you see from here to here, let me try to do this is actually my code. So this is what, what are you interested in to see what I changed. Everything else is the official code from Look at the Desco, so nothing has changed. But this portion in here that I have uh, marked with this uh, green commenting is actually containing the uh, code for certification thing, for notification thing, and so on. So you can check out what I did to make sure you're installing something safe and legit. 
it's nothing to hide. And the entire fix for the HDMI thing resides in the reload binary in here. So this only line in here. So I updated that. Now let's go ahead on the device and see how it looks like for those of you who do not know what Yellow Dark is. So um, let's see how it looks like on the device. When you install it, it's called Yellow Dark. And when you open it, it looks like this. As you can see, the design is of course, way better than the official one, because the official one is just a white interface with a go button, which is uh, blue. And it has that uh, info sheet in here telling you about the um, the thing. And also, if you click jailbreak now, it's going to jailbreak. This is pretty much how the interface looked like, and this is pretty much how, um, how it's changed. So you should keep that in mind. Now the, the HDMI is fixed, and you can uh, use it with that. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, I really hope you enjoyed this update, download it and uh, install it from the description down below. I'm Geosnow again, peace out!